Okay, so the next thing for us to do is insert a set of stairs. So if you go to TSD Members, select Stairs. And you'll notice on the stair picture there are a couple of numbers telling us for selections. We have to select the horizontal line first, then the diagonal. So if we click the picture, select the horizontal line and then the diagonal line, and you'll notice that when we scroll down that the two boxes are full. Now if you get these back to front, um, the stairs will go in upside down, you'll end up with a mess. Um, simply just use TSD members and then delete member and remove it and then select it in order. If you accidentally select it and you find you do, just hit the X and get back out and then get back in again by going TSD members and stairs and then doing it in order. Um, that's the simplest way of putting in a set of stairs. So if I click my tick, the stairs will go in. Okay, so now the stairs are in, we've got to do some uh, modification work to the stairs. So ultimately the stairs need to change in the landing in the platform from there to there and we also need to copy the connections out because they are fin connections. So if we go to the stair assembly and select the driving sketch frame and isolate them, this way we won't make any circular references attaching to other things that uh, we don't want to attach to in our relationships. So I've just clicked back on top of the uh, landing and then inside the stairs there's a driving sketch part and if you expand that out you'll see that there is a tread and grading sketch if you edit that sketch by right mouse clicking it you can select the dimension across the top and delete it because we're not going to use that because that was fixing the stair we're actually going to make a relationship between the bottom edge of the stair which is the top of the steel and the driving sketch frame and if you hold your control key down and select both points and then click on vertical that will reduce the landing length and make it match the exact same location as to where we want to keep it okay so now that's updated what we also need to do now is copy some connections across just to finish off the stairs and then update the beam to which the cleats are associated to so I'm just doing a control Q and a control S Control Q, rebuild, and then S being save. I'm going to copy this connection and I'm going to copy that connection. So to do that, TSD connections, copy connection, select the plate, select the intersection point to which they're attached to, the mating, sorry, the, the main beam to which the connection is going into, and then the mating uh, member on the opposite side. Okay, you'll notice that the connection has flipped. Okay, so we've got to do some work on that connection. And to get that to work, if we select the connection, and you'll notice that what happened was it exposed it. If I click on the connection dummy member, you'll notice the beam is up just above, and you want to edit that assembly. What we want to do is just select this member here, and we're going to mate it. Now, there are already mates in place. You can, however, edit the mate that's in place, and there's no flipping. So we're going to remove it, that's the perpendicular one, and what we're going to do is we're going to add to the right one and to the front one. So one has to be blue, which is the main member to which we're editing, and the other one is the actual connection mate. So this is edit editing in context. So when I selected that mate there, that uh, plane, sorry, it came up with the mate, and now I can use parallel, and I can use flip. Okay, so that fixes that connection. Now on the other side we've got to do the other connection as well. So copy connection, select the plate, select the point we're inserting it on, the main beam member and the connecting plate to which it, uh, connecting member to which the connection is associated to. Okay so the same thing needs to happen here. You need to change the mate by removing it and editing the beam to which this is associated to. So you need to scroll up, edit the assembly, and if we click the right plane and the front plane and use that menu as it pops up, and we use parallel, and we go swap, that brings the connection over to this side. Okay, so now the connections are copied for the stairs. We need to go in and repair this beam and do some work on this beam and I've just done a control Q and save 
So now I'm going to open up the beam. The two plates that have come in, um, I cannot select the connections, so to fix those I need to suppress them and then unsuppress them. Okay, now I can select them. You need to select the plates and include them in the bill of materials and select the two bolts because they don't actually belong to this member, they belong to the stairs. We need to include them in the bill of materials, both of them, and then suppress the bolts. Okay, so we need to do a test on this beam and ensure that it will work well during lockdown and when we tidy a drawing as well. So I'm going to hide excluded components. We'll just do a quick check just to make sure that everything's okay. So the two plates have come through. Okay. Now I'm going to show them again. so that when member lock happens it will do its job and remove them. Okay. Now the beam is fixed, we also need to go in and update the drawing associated to the beam for the extra two cleats that we've just added. Now you'll notice that there are dummy members to, to remove them. If you go hide excluded components in drawings that'll go through and remove all the dummy components and all the components that are hidden from the bill of materials. And that goes through one view after another, systematically looking for those members. Okay, so that's done. Now I do a control Q, control save. Now I need to add some extra dimensions in here to pick up these two cleats. So I can click on that button, go all the way out. and select that one and then select this vertical edge as well. Now rather than dimensioning, uh, putting center lines in on all the plates, I'm just going to use standard selection for the hole. Otherwise I'll be removing all the center lines again which we've had to do in the previous situations. We also need to add a call out um, mark number for it and there are going to be two eventually so I'm going to give a quantity next to that and only do one. What you'll also notice is, is that up in the section we now have our cleat and because previously I actually uh, stretched the cut section depth for the section over one of the plates and now I'm going to put some dimensions to lock this into place and a couple of center holes, copy the mark note, and along with that we're just going to add a couple of center marks on this beam. on those holes. This is just to make the drawing look nice. You don't have to do this if you don't want to but your fabricator will probably love you more because he'll see things that look like center holes and you want to make your fabricator happy. Okay, so that's that template fixed. Okay, so we've now inserted a set of stairs.